like to start off you reading a few scriptures, fundamental scriptures, that help us to understand what our roles are as females. Amen. No need to get nervous. I was sharing with the class, I think a week ago or two weeks ago, that our bodies are by divine design. Yes. 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 Your design determines your function. Amen. And it is God who did it. And now we ourselves. Yes. 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 We would have been functioning as we should have been functioning had sin not come into play. Amen. But because sin came into play, mankind became rebellious. Yes. But God offers us the choice through Jesus Christ that if you want to submit to my will, you do it through Jesus. Amen. And you shall be accepted. Yes. The scripture in Genesis 2 and 18 says, when God made Adam and he saw, he gave Adam the responsibility of naming the animals and so forth, and he set him on high. But then in Genesis 2 and 18, and the Lord God said, it is not good that man should be alone. I will make him a help me Amen. for him. Amen. Amen. And so we know the story. God made Miss Eve and brought her to him. And she is his help meet. Amen. Help him meet the need. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. And what need is that? to carry out God's will. You see, before we had all of this high technology, and man had, I guess, called himself evolving, God made him a man and a woman, and put him naked in the garden, and told him to be fruitful, and multiply. Amen. Amen. We are the ones that came along with all these ideas mm -hmm. about, what, about what life ought to be about. That's right. Mm -hmm. And God does have a permissive will, but he has prime directives. That's right. And you can do things that are permissive, but you cannot leave off his prime directives. That's right. Amen. Amen. So he says to <clears throat> the women that are married, you will help me for the man. That's yes. right. Not to help him carry out his will that's contrary to God, but to carry out God's will for the family. That's right. Yes. You don't need to mess that up. See, you can flex and say, I'm the man. But you got to make sure you're in the will of God. That's right. And the will of God is for you to be fruitful and multiply a godly legacy yes. by being an example and training those children in the fear mm -hmm. and admonition of God. Yes. If you yes. leave off that to pursue your ambitions, you'll find yourself out of the will of God. Amen. That's right. The devil is a deceiver and a distractor. And all of the things that we see in this world that are built by man, don't get me wrong, man, he ate of the tree of good and evil, so he became inventors mm -hmm. of good and evil. Right. So there are some good things that he did invent. Yes. Amen. But they were never 
supposed to distract us from the will of God. Amen. Both male and female have been given a sacred trust mm -hmm. over souls that will never die. Amen. Amen. And God has given us a perfect order in which to carry those things out. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amen. Eve, when God brought Eve to Adam, the Bible says in Genesis 3 and 20, Adam called his wife named Eve because she was the mother of all living. Amen. We find in 1 Corinthians, somewhere in the 15th chapter, where all flesh is not the same. That's right. There's flesh of animals, and then there's flesh of mankind. Amen. Right? Amen. And so, Eve was the blueprint. Amen. Amen. And every female born after her That's right. is patterned like her. That's right. Amen. Where she can reproduce uh -huh. the human race. Amen. Amen. She's the mother of all living. Yes. Amen. 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 And that is a high honor Amen. that the devil has tried to make women shy away from. Uh -huh. If you do it right, it's honorable. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Yes. 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 Also in 1 Timothy 5 and 14, we hear the epistle speak, and it says that women were to help teach the children and guide the house. Mm -hmm. Women don't like to hear that kind of stuff. <laughs> Amen. But it says that I will therefore that the younger women marry their children and guide the house. Amen. That's Bible. You can say you want to put on your suits and be a businesswoman all you want to. But you can't have your cake and eat it too. That's right. Now if you're going to put on your suit to be a businesswoman and you're going to be married and you got children, that's still your prime directive. Now if your husband afford a maid like Abraham had made handmaidens for Sarah, well, praise the Lord. <laughs> I'm happy <laughs> But if not, he says you have got a house. That's right. Amen. Bad children. Yes. You can't tell your husband, I won't be married. I want to cheer him. Right. Amen. <laughs> that goes with the package. Yes. <laughs> you got to get quiet on now. Yes. But I'm still in the Bible. Y'all can't do nothing with me. Because I'm still in the Bible. Amen. In 1 Peter 3, 1 through 4, it tells us how we ought to behave ourselves. He said, likewise, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husbands. Now, you got a problem when you got a husband that's not saved. I understand that. But as much as life in you, the God that I serve had written in the book. He said, oh, woman, how do you know you won't win your husband with your chase conversation? Amen. Okay. So every time he does something, you ready to get rid of him. Mm -mm -mm. I'm not talking about the white beaters. Right, right. <laughs> he may not know how to do everything like your daddy did. Amen. You'll fall out of quit him. Does he not say? Amen. Amen. And it was quiet in the church. Praise <laughs> <God. laughs> But he said, likewise, you wives be in subjection to your own husband. And that subjection, it can be a beautiful thing when you got a good saved man. Yes, amen. Amen. And what that simply means is that you're honoring him. Yes, right. You're honoring his decision. Amen. That doesn't mean you go along with every decision. That's right. Right. 
But you understand as the head, he can't make that decision. Amen. Now, a good saved man will hear the suggestions of his wife yes. Yes. and consider them. But he has to go with whatever, how God is leading him. And we need to pray for them. Yes. And even if they mess up royally, don't say, I told you so. Right. You don't know what you're doing. <laughs> But it's all right. Now can we try it my way? Yeah. <laughs> and praise the Lord. But you know what? You're honoring his position that God gave him. Amen. Amen. It says, if they obey not the word, according to 1 Peter 3, 1 through 4, if any obey not the word, they also may without the word be won by the conversation of the wives. While they behold your chaste conversation coupled with fear. Whose adorning? Let it not be that outward adorning of plating the hair and a wearing of gold or putting on apparel. Right. Now he wasn't saying you can't dress up and look good. He's saying you shouldn't put all your emphasis on your outward adorning. Amen, man. Amen, man. You know, you can look like a million bucks and be ugly on the inside. That's right. <laughs> you can look good and don't take, take care of your children. Y'all got it. Amen. But let it be the hidden man of the heart and the which is not corruptible, even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit. Yes. Even the ornament, I'm going to say it again, of a meek and quiet spirit. Yes. That lets me know God doesn't like loud women. Right. <laughs> All right, sisters. Yeah. The word hits you. Just learn how to be corrected inside. Amen. 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 And ask God to help you to change. Amen. Because this is word. Amen. He says, which is in the sight of God, a what? Great Christ. Yes. yes. Now we just can't obey part of the Bible. We got to obey all of the Bible. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And he didn't leave out the single women. 1 Corinthians 7, 33-34, he says, There is a difference also between a wife and a virgin. The unmarried woman cared for the things of the Lord. Y'all got that, single ladies? That she may be holy both in body and in spirit. Yes. He didn't tell you go out there chasing men. Amen. And being weak in the knees for men. Right. And dressing lasciviously for men. <laughs> now this old time preaching. This old Amen. Time. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and so she cares about the things of the Lord. That she may be holy both in body and in spirit. You keep yourself. Yes. But she that is married care for the things of the world, how she may please her husband. Amen. 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 And you do good if you check out those scriptures, and pray about them, and don't get offended about them. Amen. 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 For some have left the faith. Because they were offended at the word. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes. We're talking about focusing on the family. And I want the mothers to realize this is a very sobering message for females of all ages. Because something is happening to our nation. Yes, yes. Something has happened. 
And the daughters of Zion need to take note at this particular time in history. Just as Christ is the cornerstone of the church, God intended for the family to be the cornerstone or the bedrock of society. Amen. For developing and shaping the lives of his children. Amen. When you think about the cornerstone, when you think about the chief foundation of which something is constructed or developed. Yes, yes. Because the scripture says, according to Psalms 127, children are a heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. The fruit of the womb is God's reward. Amen. Yes. Now God said all souls are mine. Amen. And the soul that sent it, it shall die. Amen. Amen. And so when God was setting up the family structure, and God began to call on men that had faith in him, and they would worship him aright, he sent forth his word and he gave his oracles to man for them to teach their children. Yes, yes. And so he lets us know the fruit of the womb. That's my reward. Amen. All souls are mine. God cares about every soul. Amen, that's right. God speaking concerning his servant Abraham. He had delight in him. Mm -hmm. And his words concerning Abraham in Genesis 18 and 19, he says, For I know him, that he will command his children and his household after him, and they shall keep the way of the Lord yes. to yes. do justice and judgment, that the Lord may bring upon Abraham that which he has spoken of him. You see, Abraham's promises were upon condition. Mm -hmm. And so God said, I know him. <coughs> he's going to do what I tell him to do, and he's going to command his children. Amen. So that I can bring my promises, I can bring it to pass. Yes. Amen. And so, we see that God used that family to draw out of it souls that he could use for his glory and that could live with him in glory. Yes. That's right. Yes. When he gave Moses commandments, his laws and statutes, in Deuteronomy 4, 9-10, this is his words. He said, only take heed to thyself. And keep thy soul diligently. Lest thou forget the things which thine eyes have seen. And least they depart from thy heart all the days of thy life. But teach them thy sons and thy sons' sons. Yes. Amen. God had these words written. It was not just for Israel to see and rejoice over. God wanted us to see that the great God of heaven, the creator of heavens and earth, had something to say to mankind. Yes. And we find him speaking to mankind to help us to find our way from earth to glory. Amen. He said, teach them to thy son and thy son, son. Especially the day that thou stoodest before the Lord thy God in horror, when the Lord said unto me, Gather me the people together, and I will make them hear my words, that they may learn to fear me all the days that they shall live upon the earth, and that they may teach their children. Praise the Lord. Yes, yes. So we have an awesome responsibility as people of God. We've got to do it. And then we got to tell the world that's lost, they need to do it. Amen. 
Yes. Amen. A great majority of families today are not in sync with the will of God concerning the family structure, Amen. how to train your children. Amen. Because many families today do not know God. That's That's right. true. Many know of him and his son, right. but they do not know him. That's right. That's right. God's family instru structure includes God at the head, then the man, then the female, in marriage, in marriage, Amen. and then the children. Yeah. Yeah. I know it's 2018, and people laughing at people who are still virgins, mm -hmm. but fornication will send you to hell. That's Amen. right. That's true. So God is still requiring us to keep ourselves. Amen. 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 And so marriage is honorable in all and the bed is undefiled. Amen. But the structure today has put together male and female, marriage and children. This was married, that's not about right. No, they didn't put God at the head. Mm -hmm. Many of them do not have God. That's true. As the head. Yeah, that's right. You can't read it now. Some of the structures include male and female, shacking and chill. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's true. Female, no husband with chill. Uh -huh. yes. Now we have wives leaving them children on them men. That's true. Male, no wife with chill. Uh -huh. Yes. Grandparents raising children. Right. Amen. Man and man. Mm -hmm. Amen. With the uh -huh. Women and women. With a doctor too. Yes. And I'm sure there are other combinations. But God had it recorded in the Holy Scriptures, in the book of Genesis, the order for the family. Amen. We can get the masses to go along with any of these other structures. But it won't meet heaven's standard. Amen. And it will bar you at the judgment. Yes, it will. Amen. Amen. Yes. And so, those of us who are believers, we need to redeem the time, and we need to warn the generations that are coming. Yes, Lord. Amen. God said, Genesis, let us make man in our image and after our likeness. Uh -huh. Let him have dominion over the fish and the sea and the fowl of the air. Mm -hmm. God created man in his own image, and in the image of God created him, and he had it written this way for a reason. Yes. Created he him male. Yes. And female. Yes. Created he them. Yes, he did. He wanted us to get it. Amen. I share with you in the revival that God saw everything out in glory out in eternity that was going to happen to man. God saw this day. Yes, he did. He saw the changes, the transitions that were going to take place. Mm -hmm. But he expected his people that are called by his yes. name Amen. to hold the line. Yes. Amen. And so he made them male and female, created he them. Amen. It was God's idea. He's yes, the creator. Yes. And the Bible says that he counts it his own self. Yes. And it was on his own good pleasure to make Amen. us. Amen. Yeah. We had nothing to do with it. And so when he made Eve, took that rib out of that man 
You see, we are mankind. That's our species. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I go feel like a little form. Ask you, what race you are? I say, human race. Amen. <laughs> Mankind is made up by male and female. Yes. That's who we are. And he told us to be fruitful and multiply. Yes, he did. Amen. According to 1 Corinthians 7 1 and 2, he says, Now concerning things whereof you wrote unto me, it is good for a man. <clears throat> Not to touch a woman. We got some teaching there. Amen. Amen. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife. Yes. All right. Leave mine alone. Amen. And let every woman have a wife. Own husband. Leave mine alone. Amen. 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 And so God fixed it. You can do it either way. You can be single and serve him. And you can be married. Yes. And you can still serve him. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. But we were made for him. That's right. That's right. That's he says that the man is not of a woman, but the woman of a man. Mm -hmm. We can't separate it. We can't suffer. And we don't need to join the masses of the liberals. They've got some kind of thing going on between the sexes. If you get into that mentality, you bring it into your family. Yes. And you will be one that causes trouble in your own household. Amen. That's right. You're always going to be challenging that man about how much money he making, or if you working, how much money you making. Right. You're going to challenge him about what he do, because mm -hmm. you think you smarter than him. Right. The Bible says, give no place to the devil. That's yeah, right. right. That's the truth. And if the devil has got you all tangled up and mixed up, but that kind of mindset, you need to ask God to deliver you. Amen. Amen. Well, Sister Larry, you're taking us back to the old ages. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not taking you back to the old ages. I'm telling you how God wants us to dwell together yes. Amen. with our husbands. Amen. How a man and a woman should dwell together. Amen. You want peace in your household? Amen. Amen. You got to do it God's way. That's right. You can't do it with a condescending attitude right. towards that man. Amen. Neither can he do that with you. That's right. He said the two shall be what? One. One. Amen. God knows how to work it out. He can work it out. I remember. Because me and Brother Larry, we weren't saved when we got married. But we eventually got saved about three, about three and a half years later, somewhere. And I was happy to be saved. I believe he was happy to be saved. But I remember my husband had some problems and stumbled, and he lost his faith in his testimony. And I was somewhere pouting. Got, my own, got the, myself all worked up about what I didn't want and what I thought. And the Lord came to me. He said, can you only love him if you say it? I didn't think about that. Yeah, 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 Lord, I can love it. <laughs> and so the Lord had to teach me how to love my husband at that time when he wasn't saved. Amen. 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 Not to look for reasons to put it down 
or to have my own way. God blessed him. He ended up giving his heart back to the Lord. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. See, God's ways are higher than ours. Yes. That's right. His thoughts are higher than ours. Yes. And sometimes we run into a brick wall and we just can't see no other way. <laughs> but if you just humble yourself and call on the Lord, the Lord will help you in your situation. He'll help you to see your way through. Amen? So you don't have to destroy your family. Yes. I should have got a whole church say amen. 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 It was, that was kind of sorry, but <laughs> I guess that's the best you can do. <laughs> amen. Amen. I mean, I'm excited amen. about what God can do. Yes. yes. Amen. amen. You know how many children are hurting and wounded? Yes, that's right. Because their families are broken. Uh -huh. yes, but if we turn to Jesus, yes. Yes. he can put it back to Yes, he can. Yes. Yes, he will. Jesus told those scribes and Pharisees because they was asking him about marriage and divorce, and I'm not getting ready to teach a lesson on that. <laughs> but he also told them, he said, in the beginning, because they was talking about Moses gave them a right and a divorce. He said, but in the beginning, it was not so. <laughs> it was only because of the hardness of your heart. He said, we can become stones. That's right. And I don't care how much you try to move us. I am not forgiving. I can't forgive that. I'm just going to take it to the grave. But our Father in heaven <coughs> sacrificed his own son. Because he, give, he forgives the cheapest of sinners. Amen. It doesn't matter if you were a murderer, a thief, he sent him. He sent him. I was telling my husband because I was thinking about who probably was a happy camper in heaven. And probably didn't even realize how he got there. And I said, do you know who that is? And he couldn't think. I said, it was a thief on the cross. Jesus said, this thing, you'll be with me as parents. Yeah. He was up there because he was a thief. Right. And he probably thought he just going to die and perish and go to hell. But the hour is in That's grace. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Touch his life. Amen. And when he closed those eyes, he opened them in Paris. Yeah. Yeah. He probably was looking around at all of those saints and pilgrims. And he probably was shouting up stuff. <laughs> Thanking God how he made Amen. 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 And so we've got to so learn how to what? Forgive. Yeah. Husbands and wives, you're going to spend a lifetime of learning how to say, I'm sorry, and I forgive. Amen. Amen. And God will help you. So God set forth the standard for the family structure. And the thing that we're supposed to be doing, for it first and foremost, is teaching the family about who God is. Yes, yes. We teach them, raise them, see about them physically, emotionally, mentally. Oh, what's the other? Now, I don't want to say spiritual yet. There are five ways. Physically. Social. Social. But a lot of times the family leave off the spiritual. Yes. Taking them to church is good, but it's not enough. That's right. Those foundations need to be taught at home. Amen. Amen. Of who they are, why God made them. So they don't get confused. That's right. By the world. Yes, That's right. Amen. Yes. If you don't teach them, 
And I'm telling you now, this school system get a hold to them. <laughs> they gonna give them a choice now. Mm -hmm. You can decide to be, if you're a boy, you can decide to be a woman now. That's your choice. And if you don't want to worship the God of the Bible, here's a whole list of other religions. Just take the choice. Yes. Right. Y'all yes. yes. gonna teach yes. your children. Amen. Amen. Out of the family structure, we get kings, Amen. presidents, yes. judges, doctors yes. and lawyers, right. pastors and teachers, uh -huh. scientists and inventors. Right. No matter the status or position in life, they all come out of the family structure, uh -huh. whatever that might be. God intended for men and women of integrity with standards of his holiness, who have been reared in the fear and admonition of God, yes. to move out into society, yes. honoring him and all that they do and say. Amen. From kings to presidents, community leaders or teachers, janitors or housekeepers, it is the people that make up nations. Amen. It is people that make up communities. God wanted us to be a God-fearing nation. Amen. The Bible says it's righteousness that exalted a nation. The sin is a reproach to any people. That's a true saying. When America was great, and I hear the Commander in Chief saying we're going to make America great again. <laughs> America was great when it held biblical standards. Yes, ma'am. Yes. When we were called one nation under God. Yes. And the people were made to understand that fornication is wrong, adultery is wrong. Having children out of wedlock is wrong. Yeah. But now they pull back. Yes. And it's doing what you want to. Yeah. They even got songs. I know my day was, it's your back. Yeah. Do what you want to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God didn't create us to do what we want to do. That's right. That's right. He created us to obey Him. Yeah. Yes. Amen. And do what He wants us to do. Yes. Proverbs 30, 11 through 14. Michael, if you can find it, find it and read it. 30, 11 through 14. Proverbs chapter 30, 11 through 14. There is a generation that curses their father, who does not bless their mother. There is a generation that are pure in their own eyes, and yet is not washed from their filthiness. There is a generation, oh how lofty are their eyes, and their eyelids are lifted up. There is a generation whose teeth are as swords, and their jaw teeth as knives, to devour the poor from off the earth, and the needy from among men. Thank you. I submit unto you. We are witnessing that. We are witnessing that now. Peter stood up on the day of Pentecost because of the prophecy of Job. Well, I'm standing in your midst to say, this is that. We are witnessing our nation. We are seeing, we are seeing injustices from the high courts to the low courts. We're seeing <coughs> police brutality. Those that were supposed to protect us. Yeah. They're being held up in most cases with no accountability. Mm -hmm. And let go. That's right. We're seeing thievery and robbery reaching epidemic proportions. 
The thieves are coming in while you're in there. Mm -hmm. The thieves are taking vehicles and stealing them and smashing them into stores. And will kill you for your stuff. Yes. Yes. All these people came out of the family structure. We're seeing men stealers, human traffickers. These came out of the family structure. Yes. We're seeing our lawmakers. We see where righteous judgment falls to the ground. Amen. We're seeing different sentences for the same crime. Amen. Differing from the black and the white. Yes. Hispanics. Righteous judgment has fallen to the ground. Amen. Violence has covered our nation. And the whole world. Murderers, rapists, and pedophiles are being bold, putting things on the internet, on Facebook, advertising mm. their ungodly deeds. Yes, yes. No shame. Right. None at all. That's true. People who hold office found to be liars and extortionists. Uh -huh. Men and women in power whose God is their own benefit. There is a generation that curses their father mm -hmm. and does not bless them. Mm -hmm. He goes on in that 14th verse, he says, oh how lofty are their eyes and their eyelids are lifted up. They proud. And the arrogant. There's a generation whose teeth are as swords and their jaw teeth as knives. They'll cut you. Mm -hmm. Not with just a knife. They'll cut you with their laws. Uh -huh. and they'll cut you with their words. Yes. Uh -huh. To what? Devour the poor from off the earth mm -hmm. and the needy from among men. Yes. And as I thought of these things, this is what came to mind. Since President Trump has taken office, and he is so determined to fix the budget. The Department of Housing and Urban Development are cutting the number of housing vouchers by 30,000 to 110,000, leaving many low-income seniors people with disabilities and families with children without need, needed help for affordable housing. See that generation, they grow up and they're holding positions. Yes. And if we don't teach the children how to fear God, to love God, then they have those hard hearts. Under the same administration, the food stamp program is getting ready to cut in the next 10 years $213 billion. I know there are some fraud out there, but there are also some families that need that. Yeah, that's true. That's right. That's so right. <laughs> But the Bible warned us that that generation is coming. Amen. And that generation is here now. Right now. Yeah. Under Mr. Trump's administration, he wants to cut $800 billion for Medicaid. NBC News reported just this week that the state of Louisiana warns 37,000 Medicaid recipients they may face loss of care over budget cuts. And it's going to affect the senior citizens. Amen. Amen. That's in nursing homes. And they're receiving funds, even some that are in their own home, 
for assistant care. Mm -hmm. Now, all of those senior citizens may not have children. They may not have somebody to take care of them. But they're going to go by the guidelines. And I don't know what they're going to do with those that have nowhere to go. Saints, it's praying time. Yes, Lord. It's praying time. Yes, yes. That generation is here. The Bible says in Psalms 9, 17 through 18, the wicked shall be turned into hell. And all the nations that forget God. For the needy shall not always be forgotten. I don't know if you read that. Sometimes we read that scripture about the wicked being turned into hell and all the nations. But if you read the verse after that, he says, For the needy shall not always be forgotten. And the expectation of the poor shall not perish forever. God is concerned about the poor. Yes, indeed. He will always be with Jesus. Ooh, Amen. Amen. When man began to establish his own way and his own righteousness, it created inequity, which results in total confusion. And inequity is unfair, unequal. And the Bible says, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Yes. Yes. Our world and our nations are in trouble because of the disobedience of mankind and the transgressions that he has committed against God. Our families are suffering because of disobedience to God. The sinner man can do nothing but get saved, uh -huh. then begin to obey. Mm -hmm. But God has a word to those who are called by his name. Mm -hmm. He told Solomon in his day, and it's a word for us today. If I shut up heaven, and there'll be no rain. Amen. If I command the locusts to devour the land, if I send pestilence among my people, if my people which are called by my name, yes. shall humble themselves yes. and pray yes. and seek my yes. face, yes. 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 turn from their wicked ways. Yes. Then will I hear from heaven Amen. and will forgive their sins and will heal Amen. Amen. He said it. There was a poet his name was William Ross Wallace. He published a poem. And it was entitled, The Hand That Rocks the Cradle is the Hand That Rules the World. It praised motherhood as a preeminent force for change in the world. I didn't leave off with the Mother's Day message. God chose man as the head of the family and women to be the nurturing force that oversees the proper development of his children. Amen. To guide the house and to be chase keepers at home. He styled the church as a woman who oversees the growth and development of his babes in Christ. So likewise, the natural woman, while the husband is out working to provide the needs of the household, she is the first teacher yes. Yes. of those babies. Amen. If we could get and sisters, if the shoe don't fit, don't try to put it on. <laughs> Amen. But if it fits you, it's time for a change. Amen. If we could get women who call by his name 
to stop doing their own thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Instead of you pouring into your children, into your baby's lives, you're not spending time with them. You're taking the bottle, putting a blanket up there, and putting it in their mouth. <laughs> While you go off somewhere else. <laughs> Oh, yes, yes. Okay, I'm fine. Yes, yes. <laughs> amen. <laughs> amen, amen. You worried about your time. Yes. My me time. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. No me time was over with. <laughs> when you got married and began to have children, your me time was over amen. with. Amen. That's the truth. Some of you older ladies, y'all need to say amen real That's the truth. Amen. That's the truth. That was the realization. When you said it back, it's over. Y'all ain't gonna help, but I say it by myself. Amen. I thank God for my my mom, my grandmother. Yes, Lord. Even though they were not saved women. They forgot about themselves. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes. Those ladies worked hard. Amen. Yes, indeed. Took care of the things. Yes. They didn't have the modern conveniences. None at all. Yes, you're right. And they couldn't afford to go and get the nails done and all that other stuff. Amen. Amen. But they kept them babies. And I remember mama and grandmama, they get on their knees. Yes, indeed. And they yes. scrub them clothes. I'm telling you. And they leave a shine on there, you look like you see yourself. <laughs> they were hard workers. Amen. They cooked meals. Mm -hmm. Yes, they did. They didn't give us no McDonald's. <laughs> Amen. 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 No Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> Every morning you waking up, you got to eat cereal nowadays. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, cereal. Yeah. <laughs> cereal <on> toast. <laughs> 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 That's good. <laughs> and you can't hardly wait. Tonight comes so you can give them a bath and put them in the bed. <laughs> Amen. 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 <laughs> and you're not giving them no quality time. God told Moses, y'all talk to them too. Amen. He said, you talk to them when you're rising up. Yes. Talk to them when you're laying down. Yes. 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 Walk, talk to them when you're walking in the way. Uh -huh. Yes. Amen. Spend time with the children. Yes, amen. People don't want to spend time with the children. Y'all right. want that, don't you? Go color the pool. <laughs> I'm not saying I had it perfect, but God taught me these things. When my children were coming up, I spent time with them. And even when my son, I believe he had turned about four. And my husband wanted me to go to work. Money was scarce. I still had to be obedient to my prime directives. And when I got home, because they knew Mama spent time with us. And they were still wanting that time. Before I could get in the door. They be trying to tell me about their day and what happened, what went on, what the teacher did, what they ate. And I have five children. I said, wait, 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 wait. Yes, yes. And now mama went to work now. <laughs> and give me at least 30 minutes. If just give me a few minutes. And I'm going to listen to them. And they would back off and they'd give me about a few minutes. But soon as that few minutes was up, boy, they was all trying to talk over each other. But I would listen to every one of them. Yes. 
I would give them their time because I love them. And you know what? It was not a chore for me. I was interested in what they had to say. And I, I just became involved in, 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 in what their little personalities and what they did. Amen. And I would fight for them. I mean, not literally. But they knew that we would stand for them. Yeah. I remember uh, Mika, bless her heart, she's a powerful. She haven't been taught ways of righteousness. When she was in school, I think it was elementary and middle school, she might have been, when the teachers was cussing or acting unseen, she would, in a respectful way, let them know that you're supposed to be an example to us. Amen. One teacher had mistreated a boy and slammed the, the desk down and the boy in it. She got a, a whole classroom to go to the office. <laughs> to tell the principal. Yeah. By the time she got there, she was by herself. It was with her. <laughs> by the time she got to the principal's door, everybody had disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> but she had the courage to tell. Yes, Lord. That this teacher is mistreating us, saying cuss words. <laughs> and he was called on the carpet. And he was found guilty. And he was let go. I remember when she was in middle school, there was a coach that would cuss the students. She told him about cussing the students. He said, well, your mama probably, your mom and daddy probably cuss, use cuss words. She said, no, they don't. <laughs> when the last time they told you they love you? This morning. <laughs> We need to teach our children. That's right. We need to lead by example. Yes. Yes. We need to pour into their lives. Yes. Amen. Yes. When you pour into your children's lives, they'll think they in this. Yes. They'll tell, they'll tell the, 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 the way with the person. My daddy said, or my mama said, they'll stand up against the wrong. And you teach them how to do it in a respectful way. Amen. 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 And so we've got to get back to our grassroots as women of God. Yes. We've got girls coming up. And we don't need to forget what we're called to do. Amen. He said, elders teach the who? The younger. Yes. These girls don't need to be confused about what to do and who they are. Amen. And neither do our boys. Amen. 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 And I know that we're living in a world where the world is saying the men got to talk. <laughs> Don't y'all buy into that altogether. Sure. Don't nobody want to solve men. <laughs> <laughs> <Amen>. <laughs> But you are men of integrity, men of standards. Am I right about it? Amen. 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 But those men, they're boys first. Right. Before they're boys, they're babies. Yes. They need some love. Right. Amen. Y'all hear me? Them baby boys, they need some hugs. Right. Amen. Let me tell about it. Do you know that for the most part, men that's out in society, their hearts are hardened? Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. But you need to ask some of the women who married men who don't know how to love them. Who don't know how to be affectionate. Amen. 
and the wife sitting there waiting to be loved. And he thinks just because they were intimate, that was love. Mm. <laughs> we'll talk about that in another section. <laughs> Amen. 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 But you need to teach those boys it's okay to get a daddy hook. That's right. To get a mama hook. Yes. It's okay for them to be aware of their own emotions and their feelings. Right. Praise God. Amen. Amen. It is true. There's some truth in that. The hand that rocks are great. Can rule the world. Child left to himself will bring his mother to shame. Amen. And you know, even without that scripture being in there, it's the truth. Yes. Certain things we see children doing, we don't say nothing about what they at. Alright. That's right. That's right. We like, well, where's mama at? That's right. That's right. That's right. Well, what did mama teach? Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all got quiet. <laughs> <laughs> that's the truth. Yes, Lord. But that's Bible. Mm -hmm. All right, turn your Bible to Proverbs 31. Now we're going to find a place to close. We're going to help us out. <laughs> Proverbs 31. One through nine. Come on, Mike. Proverbs 31, verses one through nine. The words of King Daniel, mm -hmm. the prophecy that his mother taught him. Oh, 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 oh. We're talking about a king. Proverbs 31, King Lemuel is the one that wrote the Proverbs for the virtuous woman. Okay. And he was taught it by this mother. Yeah. Now, didn't I tell y'all the truth? God had it recorded for us. Read. What, my son, and what the son of my womb, and what the son of my vows? Give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. Hold on. He's telling that boy, don't you let these women get into your head in your heart. Mm. Yeah. Don't give your strength unto women. Amen. All right. Nor the ways that which what? Destroy the king. Yes. Right. You know that's a bad woman. You stay clear of her. Right. Amen. She telling her son the truth. Mm. Yes. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Amen. Read. It is not for kings, O Mira. It is not for kings to drink wine, nor for princes to start drunk. Lest they drink and forget the law and pervert the judgment of any of the afflicted. In other words, son, don't you be drinking yourself to the point that you can't have righteous judgment. Yes, right. yes. You need to be sober. And then the Bible tell us to be sober? Right. Yes. Sober-minded. Yes. He's telling her son, son, don't do that. Amen. You're a king. Because you need your mind need to be sharp. Right. Amen. Read. Lest they drink and forget the law and pervert the judgment of any of the afflicted. Give strong drink unto him that is ready to perish, and wine unto those that be of heavy hearts. Mm -hmm. Let him drink and forget his poverty, and remember his misery no more. Mm -hmm. Open thy mouth for the dumb, in the cause of all such as are appointed to destruction. Open thy mouth, judge righteously, and plead the cause of the poor and needy. Oh. So it was King Lemuel's mother that taught him about how to look for a wife. Mm -hmm. And God blessed him to put that in the Holy Scripture. Amen. Let's read. Open up. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies, and the heart of her husband doth safely trust in her, so that he should have no need of spoil. Oh no, say what now? <laughs> yeah. Her husband doth safely trust in her, 
And we'll let him see what he made. Uh-oh. Amen. 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 Well, I got two. Amen. Her husband does safely trust in her, and she he not afraid that she going to spend up all his money. That's right. Amen. 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 It's still quiet. Amen. Amen. They're not going to be shopping online. Okay. <laughs> Emptying up the bank account. Sneaking stuff. <laughs> With his money. All right. Uh -huh. I'm letting it marinate there. Read, she will what? She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. She is like the merchant ships. She bringeth her she bringeth her food from afar. Hold on. She don't mind rolling up her sleeves. Right? Amen. Cleaning her house. Amen. Well, and if you give her a budget. If she's a godly woman, Amen. she can take that little money yeah. and she can stretch it a long way. Amen. Don't I know, Brother Larry? Well, Larry might give me two hundred and fifty dollars. I remember that. And I will go to the grocery store and buy groceries for a month. Okay. I will buy chicken. I cut it up myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, some of y'all don't know about that. <laughs> I, I buy fish and gut it and scale it myself. Okay. Amen. I package that food. Amen. 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 And I had meals that was ready to go. Mm -hmm. I know how to make soups and casseroles. Amen. If we had to go back to the store, it might have been for some milk or some bread. Well, who's set? Amen. And my children tell me, Mama, we could always come and shop at your house for groceries. Because <laughs> I knew how to make it last. Amen. And so she going what? She going to do him good. Save him some money. Amen. Amen. And she going to go. She might cut out some coupons. I, I wasn't no coupon cut out. But I would go to the different stores that had the, the sales. I didn't mind doing that. Amen. Right. Ladies, you were spending more money by eating out, right. by not cooking. Right. You spending more money, I'm telling you. <laughs> now, some of you. Elders, I'm, 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 you go do what you want to do because you probably done cooked all your days. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and husband know you done cook all your days and he's all right, baby, that's all right. I pick up me some on the way in. You know? And the elders, they got it like that. But y'all people got all these children. <laughs> y'all need to learn how to discipline yourself. Amen. 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 Some of y'all don't want to sew. You can't afford all of them expensive dresses and shoes. And you done ordered them here from the hood. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I'm going to leave y'all alone in a minute, okay? No, keep going. Yes, yes. Read. She is what? She, oh. she rises. She rises also while it is yet night. Uh -oh. And giveth meat to her household and a portion to her maids. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm coming back. <laughs> so it's back. Maxine, you're tired. Yes, ma'am. But, but now you got your grandbaby. You got to get up in the way. Yes, ma'am. But some of us who have raised our children, we, we don't have 
have to get up while it's still dark outside. <laughs> Amen. Right. But some of y'all that got children, y'all can't lay in that bed to 10, 11, 12 o'clock. Amen. But you don't want to know when mama going to feed up. <laughs> 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 and don't be getting them those Cheerio snacks. <laughs> 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 Amen. 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 And who did you think was going to fix dinner for the day? Oh. <laughs> you haven't even given it a thought. <laughs> Just went to bed and thought about what you got to cook for your family tomorrow. Till, till the club about to come home. <laughs> We need to live. We need to be an example. You know you got to cook. You should talk about that thing the day before. Yes, Lord. You took that stuff out of the freezer. Let it unthought. Look, I'm just a practical preacher. Amen. Amen. I just need to preach. Don't set the wrong example for your children. Amen. And the children are going to get tired of that series. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Especially when they go to somebody's house who's cooking. They're going to make you look bad. They're going to bring them on the shit. My mama, she don't cook like that. She gives me serious. What should we lay at night? Wednesday? <laughs> okay, I'm going to get up off of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> we got to do better. We got to do better. Read. She considered the field and buyeth it. With the fruit of her hand, she planted the vineyard. She girded her loins with strength. Oh. She considered the field and buyeth it. With the fruit of her hand, she planted the vineyard. Does that make? Does that seem like a woman that don't have? Smartness about it. God didn't make no dumb women. Amen. Women are wise. Yes. Especially godly women. Amen. They got good sense. Amen. And this man trusted his wife with his money to go buy some property. Okay. Amen. 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 <clears throat> and with the fruit of her hand, she planted a vineyard. Okay. I was listening to Rebecca the other day, and she was telling me about the different herbs that she had planted, and she was growing some cilantro some and some other stuff she was growing. I said, okay. Some people don't want to grow nothing. They don't want to sow nothing. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to cut a chicken up. They don't want to do nothing. <laughs> they just go instant. <laughs> but if it's going to save your family some money, right? y'all might want to take a vacation. Right. Amen. 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 Yeah. Praise the Lord. That's right. Let me all right, money. Read. She girded her loins with strength and strengthened her arms. She perceived that her merchandise is good. Mm -hmm. Her candle goeth not out by night. She layeth her hands to the spindle and her hands to hold the distaff. She stretcheth out her hands to the poor. Yea, she reacheth forth her hands to the needy. Mm -hmm. She is not afraid of the snow for her household. For all her household are clothed with scarlet. Amen. She maketh herself coverings of tapestry. Her clothing is silk and purple. Mm. 
holding now. She looking good. Amen. She looking pretty good. Amen. I'm going to say, lady. Amen. If you look good, your family look good too. That's right. Yes. Amen. Yes. You go get your hair fixed. Don't come back with your daughter hair all nappy. And if your father, and you bring them boys to church, and they got beat it up half, <laughs> that's on you. So you can take them to get a haircut. <laughs> and ladies, if they don't do it, you get it. That's right. Amen. And take them to get a haircut. Praise God. Amen. Yes, Lord. So, ladies, you can look good, but make sure your family look just as good as you. Amen. Amen. Read. Her husband is known in the gates when he sitteth among the elders of the land. She maketh fine linen and selleth it and delivereth girdles unto the merchant. Mm -hmm. Strength and honor are her clothing. And she shall rejoice in time to come. Hold on. A good woman will make a husband look good. Right. He should have been proud as a peacock. Are the children clean? The girl had it combed. The boy got hair cut. The woman don't look like some kind of dancer in a <laughs> thing. <laughs> yeah. She dressed in nice and apparel. She's not bringing shade to him. And so he's sitting up there proud as a peacock. That's right. This is my family. Okay. Amen. 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 They know him. Because you helped him. You're not out there down in him. Amen. Talking against him. Amen. Got people rolling their eyes at your husband. Okay. See, people will let you talk to them and tell them all kind of foolishness. But you feel funny when they start mistreating him and disrespecting him. And you the one brought it about. Yeah. Amen. 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 You learn how to shut up in the closet. Call on the Lord. And God help. Amen. 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 Read. She openeth her mouth with wisdom, and in her tongue is the law of kindness. She looketh well to the ways of her household. And eat it not the bread of idleness. Uh oh. Amen. When you got married, you had to leave them friends behind. Yes. Yes. Who said yes? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just like you had to leave them boys behind. You have to leave them girls behind. Amen. You can't be telling your husband, it's my night for me and my girls. <laughs> now, if y'all got an understanding and he said, okay, but you don't just leave your family and run with your girls. Amen. And then you're going, instead of doing your house chores, you out there running in the streets, running from house to house, gossiping, and being tail bearers. Yes, yes. The Bible talks about it. And I'm sure Paul didn't want to say nothing about it if it wasn't going on. Amen. And so we got to not do that, ladies. Now, if the shoe don't fit you, don't try to put it on. And don't try to be like it's not you, if it is you. <laughs> Just say, I am the man. Amen. I need to do better. Me? Her children arise up and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praiseth her. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excellest them all. Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain, but a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. Amen. Give her of the fruit of her hands, and let her own works praise her in the gates. Amen. Yes, Lord. King Lilia, he wrote it, because he learned Amen. Let us Amen. 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 Amen.
and women, we play, we play a very important role in that family structure. God has given us a sacred trust. And we who are called by his name, we need to redeem the time. We don't need to just hear this message and forget what we heard and go back to doing what we were doing. The days are evil. The food stamp program is drying up. The Medicaid program is drying up. Amen. We don't have time just to be fancy in ourselves. The Bible says, Set your affections on things above, yes. and not on things of the world. <coughs> Look on the things of others, and not just on yourself. Psalms 78, Micah, I mean Micah, was you lead us off. And reading that in unison, and let us read it together, and let us think about it as we're reading it, what God is saying to us. Give ear, O my people, to my law. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings of old, which we have heard and known, and our fathers have told us. We will not hide them from their children, showing to the generation to come the praises of the Lord and his strength and his wonderful works that he has done. For he established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel, which he commanded our fathers that they should make them known to their children, that the generation to come might know them, even the children which should be born, who should arise and declare them to their children, that they might set up their hope in God and not forget the works of God, but keep his commandments, and might not be as their fathers, a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation that sought after their heart right, and whose spirit was not steadfast with God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. 